Hi! I think this week post and blog it's a bit of a love letter for men. It's my way to tell them that I want better for them. And it's also my way to invite them to join feminists and to unapologetically identify as feminist as a way to get into that better place. This week, the data from the National Statistic Office has been released and once again, men account for three quarters of the total deaths by suicide. Also, this year, it's been the highest rate in England and Wales in the last 20 years. I mean, we're talking about a systemic problem that is affecting men. First of all, I do not want to claim, I'm not saying that I know why anybody get to that point of what they do, what they do. I'm just talking about how having some feminist lens, we can see a lot of problems ingrained in the society that might be helping to justify those numbers. If I ask you who is more emotional, men or women, I'm pretty sure you're going to say women. And you know what? You might be right. Women might be more emotional because we've been allowed to be emotional, because we've been free to express our emotions all our lives. If I ask parents of boys and girls who is more emotional, specifically in their kids, the answer is more diverse. And in my own experience, it tends to gravitate if something towards the boys. But that changed. At some point, the kids change and they understand that it's not okay. That expressing their feelings, that crying, that being perceived as needy is just really unpleasant, that is not celebrated, that is severely punished by the society. Don't do that, you look like a girl, man up, you're a big boy now, don't be a baby. I mean, it's associated with something lesser and who wants to be less. The thing is that um, Gloria Stadium explained it very well. Uh, men have to stick to their 70% of quality while women to the 30% of perceived female, even if we all have the right to 100%. So yeah, we're in a world in which women are worse off, but men are still missing out a lot. She said it more eloquently, but that's the idea. And I thought that was brilliantly explained, but I also think that men have a problem that women do not have in that separation. Women have a lot of incentive to go towards that 70%. That 70% is where the magic happens. That 70% is, is where the power, as where just the money is, the sexuality. I mean, I'm not saying everything in that area, in that male perceived area is easy and it's fun, but I'm saying it's better, especially more society, like the society value it more. Well, in our 30%, there's all the unpaid and unthankful, if you ask me, job. It's all the caring, it's all the um, emotions, hysteria. It's about the, the giving. And why would men want to go there? I mean, I see why women are fighting to wreck those walls. And a lot of walls have been legal. I mean, we couldn't vote and then we have to just legally crush that wall and then move forward and it always feels like a move forward. It feels like whenever women have conquered areas that were perceived as male only, it's in the eye of conquer, of victory, of more, of better. But whenever men get into so-called women territory, it looks like a failure itself. I think that from very early stages, women are told that beauty is their currency. But men and boys are told that toughness is their currency. They're celebrated to be physically strong, to be determined, to be brave. Those are the things that we like in men. That's, that's the idea of manhood that we have. That is the hero that saves the day. That is the, that's even the little um, boy in the books. The boy that <clears throat> it's about sharing, that, you know, that overcome, that endure things. Um, but a difficult position that is because in a society where also vulnerability instead of being celebrated and valued is identified with weakness, then vulnerability is the direct enemy of their currency. Men do not want to be perceived as weak 
um, any sign of vulnerability of being in touch with your own feelings and being able to express those feelings are coming at that price. I think that even whenever we talk about women, mm, you know, in, in, in that conquering of new areas, we talk about empowerment. What do we say for men that want to be in touch with their emotional side, which is not a woman's side, it's just that it's womanly perceived. What do they, what words they have? What, what an incentive, like what, how is the society encouraged them to do that? I mean, the problem is that I understand that even when men want to be vulnerable in front of other men, the rest of the group may not have the tools to deal with that. And don't get me wrong, it is always tense. I mean, I don't think it's an easy situation to be in, either in the asking help or in the providing that help. But I feel like we've seen it everywhere all the time. I mean, we are educated to be the carers. We are educated to be empathetic. We are celebrated to do all those things. And we see that everywhere. We see that in the TV. We see that in the books. We we hear it in the songs that something we're used to that and these are tools that we acquire in a maybe even unconscious way but men do they feel comfortable crying in front of other men and do men feel comfortable if one of them just open up and tell them look this is how i'm feeling do they have the language and do they have the tools to just offer support to each other in that level because I understand that it's quite easy or instinctive or probably society pushed for a man to fight for each other. I would fight for you. I would kill for you. I will keep your secrets. I will be loyal. Do you need money? I mean, those are languages of love that men understand with interacting with other men. But what if that is not enough? What if those things are no longer relevant for the needs that a man or any person it's having today and what if they're lacking that support so I think that there's a conversation that we need to be having around those topics men are being stripped out from so many powerful things life-saving things just because they think they are for women and they are also being discouraged in every possible way to go into that direction because that's the clearly losers side that's that's the not winners that's the less here's the more the winners the bread earners the success the admiration here's the true connections the emotions the coziness i mean that's not for them but maybe that's what they need i mean maybe all those things would change the narrative about what is happening. So I have an ask for you. I want you to bring up this conversation with men. I want you to open the WhatsApp group and, and ask the question, what do you think is behind it? Why are men dying by suicide more than women? What is behind it? What are we doing wrong? What is the society doing to stop it? I mean. And let's explore it. Let's talk. Let's be there for each other. And let's redefine what being a man is and what manhood is. And let's change the currency and maybe put vulnerability in the place where it belongs. So that's my ask. And yeah, let's have the conversation. Sometimes it's all it takes. Stay safe.